All right, so back out at Leo Carrillo here in Malibu. I'm with Araya, and we're both gonna be working on 16 by 20s today. Uh, let me show you the scene. I'm thinking of making something of the waves that are coming through here. There's a lot of beautiful colors in the water. Uh, what about you, Araya? Um, I'm gonna do the same. I'm just gonna try to get the color uh, in between these rocks and the waves breaking through them, and a little bit of that rock there. All right, so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna compose this painting, but I do, I do think I want a high horizon. Uh, maybe even higher than that. That's, that's like kind of a quarter from the top. Actually, I think I want to go even higher. And this painting is just going to be an exploration or just kind of playing with uh, a more exploratory approach to the composition. So there's some waves out here that have the color in them that I'm interested in. I want to make sure that these waves are big enough that I get, you know, that I have room to put the color in. If they're too small, you know, then, then I'm not really featuring what's attracting me to the scene. So yeah, I want to make sure they're big enough and then I will build around this wave. I am going to include uh, these distant hills and then there's a group of rocks here that kind of come up above the horizon line. You can see a bit of the ocean in here. Then more rocks out here. putting some blue on there, almost like toning. Yeah, I'm kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but the beach, the shoreline's kind of gonna, kind of gonna go right here. Yes. On um, the sand, and I always have a problem with the continuity of the way that water looks when uh -huh. I paint the rocks. Yeah. So I decided to paint the water first. I don't know how that's gonna turn out. Yeah, nice. I noticed there's some really nice uh, sky reflections on the sand mm -hmm. uh, that make some nice shapes in the foreground that could help hopefully lead your eye out into the painting. Hopefully. I like this little patch of sort of dry sand that's in between the, the blue. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, the actually, warm bit there. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so I was feeling like my painting was boring and lacking dynamics, so I just wiped it off and I sort of zoomed in on the scene that I want to feature, uh, which again is the way the waves are breaking against these rocks. But everything is happening so quickly out here. I'm definitely out of my comfort zone. So we'll see what happens, but I'm enjoying this process and enjoying the challenge. I'm gonna start by putting some water shapes in here and trying to work quickly and not overthink this. I don't really know <laughs> what I'm after, but I feel like if I get some interesting abstract shapes with the water, then I can build around those shapes. The wave kind of builds up in this area and then breaks over here. All right, I've loaded the brush with white and I'm just kind of mopping it on here. I'm keeping the paint really fluid. Uh, I've got quite a bit of liquid in the paint. There's like a wave that breaks right here. And then it's broken up by a few rocks, but I don't want to keep, I don't want to put the rock in the middle. Uh, maybe have rocks right here. I might have another one over here as well. Water in the foreground is a little bit bluer and more horizontal. And then close to shore, uh, the water is shallow and it picks up some of the color of the sand. I'm not really leaving any room for rocks, uh, which I probably should because it's going to be hard to get a really dark color over the blue. It's better to go straight in with a dark color over the panel, but uh, that's all right. I'm going to have to just roll with it. All right, so I'm liking the shapes here and I'm liking the energy so far. All right, so putting in the wet sand uh, that's reflecting the sky. I feel like I want more red in this, so I just added a little bit of alizarin crimson. 
All right, adding some of the dark portions of this, these rocks in the background. And I'm trying to leave a little bit of space between the waves and these rocks so I don't, uh, so that I can come in on top of the white water with additional white paint. The tops of these rocks are pretty light in value, kind of a yellow ochre color. I'll be adding that eventually. All right, I want this shoreline here to continue over so you can see it be uh, between these rocks right here. All right, I'm putting in the sky and I'm using ultramarine blue, titanium white, and a touch of uh, phthalo blue. And my brush was kind of dirty, so it grayed down the color a little bit, which is good because the, there's not a lot of saturation in the sky. And then maybe by keeping the sky less saturated, it'll make the colors in here, the waves uh, stand out. I'm also trying to keep the value of the sky to, you know, a dark enough value that it allow the white water uh, to stand out. Distant hills are kind of a gray green color. Uh, I may change this color, but I'm just gonna start off and see if this will work. And I can see I might have to lighten the value uh, of the sky just a little bit. It's so fun coming out and doing these experimental exploratory paintings where I'm not, I'm just trying to uh, have fun and see what happens. No expectations. I feel like I learn a lot when I do this sort of painting where I just sort of let go and have fun. All right, I'm gonna dip into this cobalt violet that Araya gave me. Let's see here. Wow, it's not like super punchy, huh? It grays out really quick. Yeah, it grays down nicely. I was kind of afraid. I thought it'd be like dioxazine purple and just overwhelm my painting, but not at all. And there are some areas of darker blue out here that I think are trees, like distant trees. I uh, just added some ultramarine for those darker bits. And there's even some up here. All right, and there's some dark green in this area, some trees. They've got more yellow in them because they're closer. Okay, adding a bit of warmer green. And that warm green sort of extends out this way too. And then the mountains up here have more red in them. And there's, you know, there's a lot of light on these distant hills. So adding a bit of warmth. All right, I'm gonna lighten the sky a little bit. And I'm using titanium white with a bit of ultramarine. All right, now that I've got the shapes established, I'm going back with thicker paint and adding some texture and energy here. I do want to make sure that I have a slight value shift between the sky and these distant hills. As I've talked about before, I usually paint the distant hills too dark. So I'm trying to keep that in mind and paint them a bit lighter today. Adding some thicker paint to the warm portion of these hills. I feel like I need to put in some more rocks here. For the rocks, I've got a mixture of ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. The rocks are definitely denser in this area right here. Okay, going in with sky reflections. But right, I think I want this area here to just be uh, wet sand. I don't want uh, too much light down on this corner. Put 
put some bits of light on these rocks. It's kind of a yellow ochre-ish color. And the base of the rocks are dark. There are some jagged, little jagged bits. And I'm letting it mix with the paint underneath. All right, doing something a little crazy here. I'm seeing like pure phthalo blue out in the distance. So this is phthalo straight out of the tube, although it's mixing a bit with the color that's already on the panel. Of course, it's phthalo in here as well. All right, this area is looking too careful. I just need to mess it up. All right, so that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I like how you ended up adding uh, that saturation and the warmth in here, and also just a nice arrangement of rocks. When I put in that many rocks, I feel like I, it just gets overwhelmed, but somehow you've done it here in a way where I think it really works. It's like a pleasing pattern. Thanks, I mean, I think you telling me to crank the color up in the end is the only thing that saved it. It's so hard with this kind of exploratory painting, it's like, it comes and goes. You have a magical moment, and then you keep going, and then you lose it, and then you gain it back, and, but yeah, I think you ended up with something really nice. Thanks, I think you had five awesome paintings in the course of your <laughs> painting. Well, let's take a look. I had some really cool things going on over here, and then I lost it, and I kind of got it back, then I lost it again, and now I can't even see anymore. I don't even know. <laughs> so it's like just time to give up. And, uh, but I had a great time doing this painting. It's great, your, your goal of making the wave wrap, you know, it's hard to make, to see the front of the wave and the back of the wave in the same painting. Yeah, and I do feel like there's a bit of a feel of that surge coming up against the rocks. Overall, super fun painting to do. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, there's a Patreon link down below. It's Patreon support that helps keep me making these videos and it's much appreciated. So check it out. Uh, other than that, stay creative. Oh, and I'll also put a link to Araya's Instagram down below. So check that out. Other than that, stay creative and I'll see you guys in the next video. Araya is painting on his painting again, so I have to go take his brush away. All right. <laughs> All right, see ya.